Hey Church, hope you are well. Um, just a privilege today to um, join you in your day um, with this devotion. My name's Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church at the Manchester campus. And um, just, um, just wanted to share with you two scriptures. It's like the remit that I got was like one scripture, my favourite scripture, but um, or one of my favourite scriptures because the Bible is full of so many. I just wanted to share two um, with you. The first one, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, and just a little bit of a backstory. Um, when I was 17, my mum wrote this scripture in my birthday card and it just um, has stuck with me ever since. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your Pass. I love that scripture. And the second one is this, Philippines 4, verse 8. Philippians 4, verse 8. So keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real, honourable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind, and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising him always. And I just think these, well, I know these two scriptures have um, held me um, in some difficult times and have encouraged me throughout my life um, and just um, strengthen me and empower me. They are absolutely uh, amazing and um, they're refreshment to me um, and help me to shift my eyes and refocus my perspective. Um, they've kept me sane and uh, lifted worry, burden, and brought me joy in some some of the most difficult circumstances I've um, I've faced. Proverbs has taught me to lean into God, to understand and have a revelation of Him as my Father, that I am His Son, um, and that I I'm held in His arms and can lean and can lean into Him, rest my head on His shoulder. That image of um, just resting my head on the father's shoulder sat in his mighty arms holding me to I've got I've got three children two boys um, and one girl and just that as I wrap my arms around them when they're struggling crying upset going on just just wrapping my arms and they bury themselves in, into into my chest and my shoulder that image of me doing that with father god um, is I, I, I'm resting there, I'm reassured there, I'm protected there, and above all, loved there. And no matter what is going on around me, I don't have to worry. I just need to trust and know that he is in control. And maybe just as I'm, as I'm um, giving this, um, um, i forgotten what it is, this devotion, um, just talking to you, I just feel that maybe somebody... Or um, a couple of people who are, who are listening, you're trying to take control, but God is just saying to you, trust me, I'm in control. Secondly, Philippines has encouraged me to audit my thoughts. They, they can, and I'm sure yours can. Your thoughts can be an absolute nightmare. They can take you to places that you do not want to go. Insecurities, failings, fears, anxiety, comparison and unworthiness. I have prayed for many years that God would take these thoughts away from me. Just get rid of these thoughts. But then I realized that they are like flies in the summer. However, however hard you try to stop them coming, bat them away, they will them away. They just keep coming. Flies just keep coming. However hard you try to stop them, they will keep coming. And I'm learning that this is like my thoughts. I can't, I can't have them removed. They will, they will keep, they will keep coming. But I'm learning this, this scripture in Philippians um, four verse eight says, "Think on things." So when those, those thoughts come, those negative thoughts, those thoughts that uh, maybe once were true but aren't now true because I'm a new creation in him, that I can think on good things and I can think on the things that God says about me, what the Father says about me. And this is what um, I've been doing just recently is creating a list of I am statements so that when negative thoughts come, I can quickly shift my thinking to these. And I'd encourage you to do the same. I am statements. I am worthy. I am 
Um, I am chosen, I am called, I am interested, all these things. Maybe it's a counteract, a, a counteract to the thoughts that come in that are negative. And one simple thought to start the day is, as you build your I am statements, as you learn to trust in God and give him control, and as you learn to make these I am statements, one, one statement, I am a child of God. And that's what I want to leave you with today as you, as you walk into your day, whatever point, um, if, you're then, if you're going to bed, wherever you're list, uh, reading this, watching this right now, these I am statements, you can trust God. You can lean on him and the I am statements that you can build. I am a child of God. And that means so much. It means you're loved. It means you're cared for. It means you're supported. It means you're protected. It means he's got you. It means he's all over you. It means he's thinking and planned your future. It means that he's released you from your past. It it means that you are his. And whatever you face, you face with him. Love you, church. Have an absolutely great rest of your day. Um, see you See you soon. Let me pray. Father, I pray for everybody who's watching this right now, that they would have a revelation of who you are and what that means for them of whose they are and that they are a child of God, that they can trust you, they can give you control and they can know that you have got them. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, church. See you soon.